Hi everybody, so today I'm going to give you the, an important strategy for speaking talks, especially for speaking uh, part two or part three. Uh, it, it is all about, um, you know, like a cue card and a discussion topic. So today I will give you an important strategy that you have to remind first before you go for the exam day. So the four criteria for speaking evaluation would be, the first one is your fluency. So the fluency is kind of like the way that you can communicate in English very freely or independently in particular topic. So when we got some topic that we need to speak in, in that day, so you need to uh, build your confidence in order to make sure that your fluency can flow in that matter, okay? The second thing is that the accuracy. So this is a wide range of a uh, advanced grammar. So sometimes it would be difficult we have to, because we have to control our, uh, our accuracy in terms of using grammar, using uh, vocabulary in a certain context. And sometimes we need to know some idiom or, um, you know, like the way that are commonly used in the speaking, in the spoken language, right? And the third thing is that we need to understand the way that we speak in the real context. So it is very important that we can use some vocabulary, which is really important for that situation, and some, some topic that we can use uh, vocabulary um, from your own understanding and that, that, that came along with the, and, you know, the, the particular topic in a speaking day. And the last thing is that the flow or the uh, cohesion or coherence is kind of very important because actually we need to understand about the using of a transition as well as uh, how well you develop a uh, discussion topic and, or, or an argument in a particular topic and then can perform your speaking in that way, right? So for a criteria need to remember before we practice speaking in a daily. So today I'm going to give you a sample of the Kugat, so a public building you would like to visit. So sometimes I will give you um, the two different situations that we can practice later. The first thing is that I would like you to uh, raise the example of historical places, which is really important in our uh, our daily life that we want to see something different or something new in public building. So I would like to raise the uh, version number one is that the historical places. So for me, um, personally, a public building that I would like to visit is that the historical places in the Islamic country, especially in the Dubai and UAE. So the reason that I would like to visit that is just because it is interesting places and it reflects some behavior of Muslim people that they behave and act in a different way of people. So this is the reason that we can learn the history of, um, um, you know, like a religious that is particularly uh, related to the, the cultural reflection as well as the, um, you know, the, uh, the interesting places in, in, different work, in different world. Yeah, so I would like to visit together with uh, my friends or my close friend. Uh, I would like to visit on a long vacation day, maybe in next year or uh, for, uh, when I have a free time or when my time or my schedule is available. And I would like to go there by plane. It's just because it's very convenient for me to uh, visit in a different country through the uh, airplane, yeah, things like that. So this is the first version that you can explain when it comes to talk about a uh, public building that you would like to visit. Another example that I would like to give you is that you can raise the uh, example from, um, let's say like from interesting uh, places or even the spot uh, for a tourist destination. Um, okay, well, I will get start from the Eiffel Tower in Paris or French, right? Okay, I've, um, the, the public building that I would like to visit would be Eiffel Tower in uh, France just because it is a very interesting place and it is a spot for a tourist destination and everyone believe that once in a in, in my life that I could visit this place. All right, um, I would like to visit maybe in the next year uh, after I, I have a clear my schedule or my uh, 
my 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 plan and to go there. So um, the reason that I would like to visit is just because this is the famous uh, tourist places, and I would like to see the different culture, different people, and different places. And I just want to prove that it how uh, beautiful it is. So it is very important for us to go there. And I will go with, together with my family members. So be like uh, my brothers, my sister, or my. Uh, uh, everyone in our own family. So it's a big travel and a big trip to visit there. And this is a kind of a new thing that I could learn and learn something new from a different way and different world. Thank you. So this is all about um, the example that I want you to practice later. Maybe it's just kind of like um, um, you can talk in a different way, different opinion, a different style. But this is maybe uh, some version that we can practice together. So thank you so much for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.